We're going to get the latest now on that power struggle inside the White House. Top strategist Steve Bannon has clashed with Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. It's a political battle that's irritated the president. He's ordered them to bury the hatchet. And our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, here with the details. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. Work it out. That is the order from the president. After a week of working on diplomacy abroad, he is now home trying to broker a peace deal between two of his top aides. President Trump landing back at the White House and right there with him, chief strategist Steve Bannon. The show of a united front comes after days of West Wing tumult. Bannon and the president's son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner feuding over a growing ideological divide. Bannon's nationalist views clashing with Kushner. It got so bad, Bannon reportedly told Kushner, you're a Democrat. And in the middle of it all, President Trump. Sources tell ABC News the president intervened, telling his two aides to, quote, work it out. A lot of people close to Trump are really concerned that he does. He hasn't been able to lay claim to a major accomplishment yet. And some people are pointing fingers about why that's the case. After that Mar-a-Lago summit with China's leader, Chief of Staff Reince Priebus organized the face-to-face -face meeting between Bannon and Kushner. The presidential drama falling on the heels of Bannon losing his seat on the National Security Security Council, an overhaul approved by the president and endorsed by Kushner. Sources tell ABC News Bannon was so angered he threatened to resign, but Bannon called that claim absurd. The president's national security advisor also denying reports that Bannon was demoted. This is not as, as significant as it, as it appears. Steve Bannon uh, provides the president with advice on a broad range of issues and will continue to do so. Now, that meeting between Bannon and Kushner, we are told by sources, was an attempt to smooth things over and start to move forward on the president's agenda. But that is not the only drama happening right here in the Trump White House. There could be another shakeup to come, George. Much speculation right now about the president's chief of staff. That's right. Ryan's previous. Okay, Cecilia, thanks.